Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the SuburbanSoapbox.com and today we are making my favorite salad ever. What I love most about this salad is you make the majority of it with canned ingredients and the rest is stuff that you probably already have in your refrigerator. The flavor is vibrant and fresh and the whole salad can just be your meal. So to get started, we're going to use a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans and a can of black beans. And you're going to need to rinse them, drain them, rinse them again because they're loaded with sodium. Whatever liquid or juice that's in the can with them is packed with sodium. So you wanna rinse some of that off before you get started so it's not all in your salad. After you rinse your beans and your chickpeas, you just toss them into a bowl. So the great thing about this salad in particular is that you're just chopping everything and throwing it in the bowl. And it's loaded with protein from the beans and the chickpeas. So it does make an acceptable like main course salad. If you're on a vegetarian diet, you're getting everything you need. So we're just gonna cut up an English cucumber and you can actually use any cucumber. I just prefer an English cucumber because there are hardly any seeds in here. I mean, they say they're seedless, but there are a little bit of seeds in there. And you don't have to peel it because they're not coated in wax like some of the regular cucumbers that you find at the grocery store. And I like to cut everything into like bite size pieces because the salad is so good, you're gonna wanna shovel it into your mouth. I'll toss that into the bowl and then finish up the rest of the cucumber. And another thing I love about this salad is it's easy to mix it up. So if you wanna add an avocado to it, you can do that. And you can add the avocado right before you're getting ready to serve it or right before you're ready to eat it. You can add hot peppers, jalapenos, make it a little spicy. Any kind of fresh herbs would work. But I love the freshness of the cucumber especially. So now we're gonna use a red onion. This red onion has seen better days, but we're gonna just chop it up finely in a dice. You eat with your eyes. So you want it to be a beautiful salad. You wanna see some of the ingredients in there. And if you don't like a lot of onion, don't put a lot of onion in there. So we're also gonna add some parsley and I'm just gonna cut it off there and finally chop it. And I used an Italian flat leaf parsley, but any parsley will do. You don't want big pieces of parsley in there, but you also don't want it to like disappear into the salad. So now we're gonna slice some grape tomatoes in half and you can use any type of tomato. I like to use grape tomatoes because they're already bite-sized and I cut a few in half. I don't cut them all in half because I don't really want all of that liquid to leach out into the salad and water it down. So if you wanna use a regular garden tomato, like one that you grew this summer, you would be best to chop it up into a fine dice and remove a lot of those seeds because the bigger the tomato, the more seeds you're gonna have and the more water you're gonna have and that's gonna water down your salad dressing a little bit and that's why I go with the grape tomatoes. Okay, so to add some brininess to the salad, and this is really my favorite part, I like to add a mix of green olives and black olives. So now we're gonna whip up the dressing. It's really simple. It's just a little bit of lemon zest. So I usually use the zest and the juice of one lemon. And I like to use a fine zester as opposed to one that makes bigger pieces because they kind of whisk into the dressing a little bit better. Let's squeeze out the lemon juice and we're going to mince up one garlic clove or two or three whatever you're feeling if you like it really garlicky you can certainly add more so you want to finely mince the garlic because it's going into a dressing so you don't want big chunks of garlic in there and we're not cooking it so it's pretty pungent so you want to add that a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. 
and some red wine vinegar. And then some olive oil. And you wanna stream in the olive oil while you're whisking so it kind of thickens and forms like a little bit of an emulsion. And it's really light dressing, so you can mix it up. Just feel free to get creative here, and you can see how it's getting a little thicker, a little creamier, just from whisking everything together. That's how easy it is to make like your own salad dressings. Okay, and now we're gonna pour it over the salad. All over the salad. Okay, we're just gonna toss everything to combine. And I love how vibrant and colorful this salad is. It's always a welcome addition at any gathering. Mmm. So fresh and light and just full of all the good things. This is the most refreshing and tasty salad ever, but just that little zest from the dressing. This is the perfect meal. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out thesuburbantoebox.com for more easy recipes. And if you liked this video, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Thanks again.